What's going on? It's Skytune, and in this box is something that I've been waiting a very, very long time for. So let's open it up and check it out. You didn't think I wouldn't tell you about it before I opened it and showed you what it was, right? What I'm about to show you is the Analog Pocket. My good friend BXBennyG1, you can check out his socials down in the description below, he told me all about this device and it blew my mind. So that's what I'm hoping to do for everybody watching. And without further ado, let's unbox the Analog Pocket. Oh my gosh, the presentation on this, dang. Okay, so we got the pocket and the hard case. We always save the best for last, so we're gonna set the analog pocket off to the side and start things off with the hard case. That's definitely a hard case. Not exactly what I was expecting, but um, it almost looks like what retail stores put the games in so they don't get stolen. That's what it reminds me of. You can't really see it, but it does say pocket on the front. Apparently you have to have brute strength and just... And that's how it opens. We'll set this off to the side and get on to the main course itself, the analog pocket. Ooh, I didn't even notice till now, but the case is, it's smooth, but it's some kind of like weird texture to it. Yo! Okay, that is cool. This was worth waiting all that time. Look at this thing. Oh my gosh. Okay, so now to explain what it does. This nifty little device actually plays Game Boy, Game Boy Advanced, and Game Boy Color, and more that I'm forgetting, games. I started with the Wii, and for whatever reason, I don't really go backwards. I don't know why I don't enjoy retro games or something like that, but I've never gone backwards. I have the NES Classic and the SNES Classic. Don't play them often, I hate to say that. So you're probably wondering, why did I buy this? Is it because it was a hyped up item? Well, yeah, probably. For whatever reason, I just randomly decided, hey, let's step out of the comfort zone and try some handheld retro games absolutely beautiful you can see all the buttons right here on the front on the bottom there's a little ethernet port usb-c and headphone jack on the left side we can see what looks to me like a power button volume buttons and the speakers on the right side is a place for a micro sd card and some more speakers and on the back we have the place where you actually put in the games and the triggers on the side too the analog pocket comes in white or black, so two different options, and there's a bunch of other accessories with it too, but I decided to just get that case because I think it's for display purposes. Let's actually check it out right now. Before I do, I just realized we missed a few items in the box. So this right here is kind of how you start up the analog pocket. And it also gives us some stickers, which I guess you can design the case with if you want to. And then this right here is just your charging cord. So, um, I'm actually not gonna show you what it looks like in this case, because I got it stuck for like 20 minutes. So, yeah, anyway, that's the analog pocket. Again, shout out to you, BXBennyG1. Thank you so much for informing me about this awesome device. I can't wait to play some games. And that's where you guys come in watching this video. Be sure, let me know in the comments below. What are your favorite Game Boy games? Tell me all of them, and I'm gonna try to play some whenever I get the chance. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to smash that subscribe button, leave a like, and check out all the socials down in the description below. 
I'll see you in the next video.